family, and welcome back to SoulCast. I'm your host, Jen Westlake from Solulaire.com, and I am really happy and excited to see you again this week. I just want you all to know that we are all in this together, and we're working together to make our own lives healthier and more abundant. And so this week, I am excited to talk to you about all these different things. I made a whole bunch of notes for this week, but I just still, I always want to talk to you from the heart and I just want to be um, open and honest with you with what I see and what I feel is coming down the pipeline, pipeline and how we can best navigate things. I just want you to know that we have to actually work at finding joy in our lives. Things the last several years, especially since COVID, I feel like things have just gotten exponentially more difficult um, for each one of us to live our lives. Uh, things cost more. Uh, time is speeding up. I don't know if we're trying to put more event into the minutes that we have or if there is a compression and acceleration of time. I actually am leaning towards the second because that is something that was prophesied to happen um, in the last days of this age. Things, things tend to speed up. And so not only do we feel we have to hurry, but we also are running out of energy. I'm sure many of you are just exhausted in so many more ways and levels and layers of yourself that you didn't even know were there until now. We are being pushed to the limit. And so it is important for us to do our best at having fun with our inner child. Do some things that bring you joy, things that are goofy and silly and yet, um, give you a chance to play and lighten up and break free from all this seriousness that we are going through in this world right now. I encourage you to laugh and find humor. You know, there's a lot of comedians um, that have shows on the internet. You can find funny videos on YouTube that can help you laugh, but it is important for you to Find humor, use laughter to help lift your spirits and help you break through the seriousness and make it so things just aren't so heavy for you um, in your life. We need to break those chains of seriousness and laugh through some of our problems and through some of our sorrows and break that energy up and allow that heavy energy to dissipate and loving yourself and finding humor and laughing and rejoicing in the things that you see going right in your life. Rejoice in the things that you see are good. A few weeks ago, I was struggling and I asked Heavenly Father, please help me see people doing good in the world. And the funny thing is, is I was looking at YouTube and I found some videos where there are these really great guys out there that see a yard that is overgrown and they go free of charge and go clean it up. And they are helping the people that live in their homes. They're helping the neighborhood by cleaning up the yards of abandoned or vacant homes or lots. And it just reaffirmed that there are good people out there that are taking action to help their community and to help themselves. And these people are thriving. They look happy. They feel like they're accomplishing something. They feel that they are doing good in this world. Maybe there is something this week where you see a need to help someone out to do something without expecting anything back in return, showing that level of kindness and compassion and actually taking action and doing some work on behalf of someone else or for your community can make a big difference in helping you lift your spirits and become more 
higher vibrational and more 5D because in the future, we will be collaborating to help our neighbors and to help our communities and to help our families. And so if you see a need and there's something that you can actually do about it, then do it. Take some action to make your world and the world around you a better place. Another thing that we get to work on this week is, and something like this can help you with, it will build your confidence. It will build your self-value and your self-worth. And along with that, it builds up your own self-respect. And these are different things that we can do to step back into our own power. We have been used and taken advantage of, and we have been disempowered by the old powers that were. It's time to take our power back in a good and appropriate way that blesses your life and blesses the lives of those around you. So we get to use laughter this week. We get to use positive action to build our confidence and our self-worth and make this world a better place. It starts with you. And so be the person that you were always meant to be, um, giving and spreading goodness and the good news. Things are going to be getting better and you are going to be a part of that. And so figure out what your gifts and talents are and how you can contribute to make this world a better place. And you don't have to start with your whole world, start out small. These people are just working, these lawn care people, um, they are just working in their own towns and they see a need. Now these guys have skills in lawn care and yard care. And so they're using their gifts and talents and the tools that they have to make this world a better place. Now I know each one of you has your own gifts and talents to be that light in this world. So take confidence, take your power back and make a positive uh, contribution to the world, to your community, to your neighborhood, if you can. It might be something at work that you can do. You know what that is and you will be inspired to do that. Trust your inspired thoughts and be observant. Pay attention to your surroundings. Be the owl up in the tree and get the higher vantage point. I'm sure you'll see something that you can do to be of service and to help others. And it ends up coming back to you where you will be blessed by what you give because what you give will come back to you multiply. It's a law of the universe. People call it the law of karma, but we can call it the law of consequence. These are the consequences of right action. And you will be blessed beyond your comprehension for the service that you give. Allow yourself to not take things so seriously. Find the humor. Find the silver lining. Find what's going right in your life. And help something help someone else by helping something right go in their life. So each one of you is beautiful. Each one of you is so important. And I feel so honored to be talking to you this week. I hope that everything is going well in your life. And if there's anything that I can do to help you tweak things, help you communicate something better, help you get back in touch with your own soul, help you with your ascension process, I am here to help you. Please allow me be your ascension assistant and guide. That is my purpose and that is my mission from God to help you prepare for your ascension, for your healing and for your purpose. Help you tap into that, help you discover that. And so I'm excited to be here with you this week and I wish you all the best. I keep you all in my thoughts and prayers every day. 
and I want you all to be happy. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Bye.